Hey Taurus and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your weekly love reading for May 6th through the 12th, 2019. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, I'm doing it a little bit different, so I will be pulling your energy or your situation, uh, your outcome, and your shared energy, and then I will be doing clarifiers for each person in the relationship. So, we'll get started here right away. That all messages bring brought for Taurus before their best and greatest good. What is their situation this week? All right, your first card out. Look at there, Taurus, Queen of Pentacles. Your next card out is the Chariot. Could be dealing with a Cancer or Sagittarius with that Chariot card. And the Six of Swords. All right. Your guys' outcome for the week is the Ten of Cups in reverse, Justice in the upright, and the Lovers in the upright. Your guys' bottom of the deck and shared energy is the Three of Swords in Reverse, the Ace of Wands, and the Moon. Next card out is the Star with the King of Pentacles in Reverse. So with the King and Queen here, um, this could be a married couple, Taurus, you and your partner, um, and or you both could be Earth Signs. Uh, when Star is in between them, uh, some healing needs to be done from one of you being out of balance, being um, not stable, being uh, in and out. Um, but there is healing coming for you, Taurus. So, let's see here. We will start with your shared energy. So, in the past, there was some heartbreak. There could have been a third party here. Um, even though I'm not seeing a lot of evidence of it yet, there is heartbreak between you and your person that... Um, that was centered around secrets and possibly a fire sign. Uh, if there that if there was no other person, this is just broken heart, having a broken heart um, over things that you didn't understand, you didn't know. Um, could have been uh, somebody was hiding something from you, but it wasn't like cheating. Uh, and you were hoping for this new beginning. You were hoping for a new start to wipe that slate clean and to move forward. I am going to tip you down here so you can see your cards. Sorry, I didn't realize I wasn't even thinking. So, um, you know, you could have been... There was there was some rough times during this relationship. Um, and there were some things hidden, whether it be another person or not, because I am seeing both situations. Um, there were some things hidden, and even though you were hoping for a new start, a new beginning, and wiping the slate, slate clean, um, I'm not quite sure that you're going to get that, Taurus, or you're going to give that, whichever one um, it is for you. Um, pick a side. I will be pulling from two different decks. Um, I will be uh, referring to the first uh, deck as you, Taurus, and then the second deck will be the Cross Watcher, but if it, we all know energy is fluid, so flip-flop it if you have to. So why is the Queen of Pentacles here for Taurus for the week of May 6th? All right. And the Chariot. Thank you. And the Six of Swords. My goodness. Ten of Cups in reverse. Oh. All right, bottom of your deck uh, of the clarifiers is the emperor. So you could be with somebody who um, at the moment is very controlling, what has to control the outcome, has to control, um, you know, have their say in everything. It has to be their way or or no way. Um, temperance is there in reverse as well. So you're in need of some healing, Taurus. There's been some heartache here. Um, 
so you know a lot of imbalance here it could be the earth sign that you're dealing with as well um whoever that king of pentacles was in reverse um is really uh really unstable because they're also coming out here as the king of cups in reverse so um you could be going through some emotional manipulation some um some just really emotionally trying times taurus um trying to get through this uh with your shared energy, we will start with that first. So there's a three of swords here with the four of cups in reverse. So there was some things that you weren't seeing in the past um, that broke your heart. Uh, but you're not seeing the the lesson or the blessing in all of this. This heartache was for a reason. It wasn't just random. There was some sort of lesson or blessing that the universe is trying to give you through this heartache. Um but you are going you are going to come out of that heartache. Uh, yeah, somebody could have been hiding their feelings uh, or lack of from you, Taurus. There were some secrets about how they no longer had the love for you or wanted this new beginning. They could have made you think that they wanted this new beginning. And then now it's coming out that that um, that the feelings just aren't there. They love you, but they're not in love with you. And remember, this can go vice versa. And the Ace of Rods with the Queen of Rods. So you, Taurus, could be interested in a fire sign um, instead of giving uh, your person, uh, your partner, spouse, long-term person another chance. Um, you could be moving forward and having a new beginning with this Queen of uh, Rods. And you're going to be getting over this heartache. So whether you're the one leaving Taurus or your person is the one leaving, um, somebody is moving towards a fire sign female um, or somebody who is very, uh, or not fire sign female, it can be male or female, but somebody um, who is very confident um, and very people are just drawn to this person. So Taurus, you could be very drawn to them, wanting this new beginning with them and to... But you've been hiding your true feelings about the person that you're with. All right. So in your energy, you do have the Queen of Pentacles. So you're still nurturing the home. You're still nurturing the person that you're with. Um, trying to... You're having a hard time going through this death process. You're having a hard time purging this person out. You're having a hard time giving up on someone that you built a home with, somebody that you have um, nurtured. But I almost get like you're the mom energy to this person. Like th if they don't get their way, they throw a fit. It's almost like you have to, you know, make sure the laundry's done, make sure the groceries are bought, make sure the bills are paid, make sure it's, it feels like you, you're wearing yourself out um, instead of letting this go, letting this, because uh, the death card means a huge transformation, a spiritual transformation, a personal transformation, um, and you're, you're holding back doing that because you feel you have to nurture this person in the household. Um, and that's not the case, Taurus. Uh, you are going to be moving away from this person. Uh, like I said, the King of Cups is somebody who is very emotionally manipulative. They're all over the place. One day they're hot, one day they're cold. Then you pair it with the Emperor in reverse, and you got just somebody who thinks that everything has to be their way. They're emotionally manipulating to get their way, and um, and you just you're moving away from that. You can't handle that anymore. Um, you know, it's just the love has run dry. And then with that King of Pentacles in reverse as well, this person is really out of balance that you're walking away from. You are going to move away from this situation, Taurus. Uh, this week, you may start to be making plans to move. Uh, you're not quite sure in the past where you wanted to go, but the Two of Wands in reverse is now you have picked a path. There's no longer a question of which direction you're heading in. You're going to follow your heart, your intuition, and let that guide you and lead you in the path that you're meant to be on um, or or that, you're, that you feel is calling for you. Um, there is somebody that's not in the picture right now for you, Taurus. Um, they could be waiting for you. could be this fire sign, but you are going to move towards that person who is waiting for you in the distance. All right. And you may not even necessarily have been with them yet, like been in a relationship, but this is somebody that you know that you are moving towards. 
All right, in your guys' outcome for the week, you have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups both in reverse. You're just emotionally drained. Your finances are drained. You're at the end of this cycle. You're almost there. You're not quite ready just to move on just yet because this death is in reverse, but you are getting close. By the end of the week, um, you're most definitely uh, leaving someone or something behind. Uh, could be a water sign that you're leaving behind and moving towards a fire sign, Taurus, but it doesn't have to be. But you're you're letting these cycles end. You're letting this come to a close. You have two cards of moving and two tens right here. Actually, you have three because you have the chariot here as well. So Taurus, you are, um, you're just, your emotions are drained. Your house is, your household is drained. Your finances are stressed. You're stressed. You're just ready to let this come to a close. So for some of you, you are ready for um, the legal process. You're ready to divorce. You're ready to file. I do see paperwork being signed. So you could be going into file for divorce, but you're ready for balance to be restored back in your life. This person and this um, action or you, Taurus, one of you has really thrown this relationship out of balance. And you were scared to let go of these spilt three cups, even though they were empty. You were scared to let them go because you weren't sure those two of cups were behind you still. So you were grasping on to that past, um, afraid to let go. Could be because of the nurturing factor, a codependent uh, issue due to finances, but you're letting that go. You're over that. And I do see um, a large group of you moving towards um, signing legal paperwork to end this relationship. Most importantly, Taurus, you have a decision to make. You have a choice to make. Um, and you are going to choose a path that's going to bring you in a lot of love. You are moving away from somebody um, because you just feel like there's nothing left to grow here. There's nothing left for the two of you to be able to do. Um, and you are being called in a different direction. Um, you are going to make the choice to move away from this Taurus or yeah, move away from this person. Um, for some of you, you have somebody else you're choosing love and closing the distance between a cancer or a Sagittarius moving towards that person, especially if you are a Taurus rising or not. Yeah. Taurus rising. You could be moving towards uh, a cancer or a Sagittarius um, choosing love and leaving this draining situation in the past so let's see what the cross watcher needs to know and we'll pull these clarifiers off and pull ones from their own deck all right why is the queen of pentacles here for taurus cross watchers and the chariot Thank you. And the Six of Swords. Jesus, thank you. And the Ten of Cups. Justice card. And the lovers. Woo. All right. Okay, your bottom of the clarifying deck is a three of wands. You are the one at the distance. Yes, yes, yes. You are the one that is waiting for that your blessings to come in. You are the one that is waiting for this person to come towards you. Um, your Taurus um, has not been fully awakened to the divine truth. They know they want to move forward. They know they want to move out of this 
connection, but they're not quite sure of how it's going to be or how it's going to work. Um, your Taurus uh, cross watchers are confused at the moment of how they're going to make this work and still provide for their family, still be able to take care of themselves, nurture themselves, build a home. Um, even though they know they want to move forward and out of this connection, there's just a little bit of confusion still here. And remember, energy is fluid. So Taurus, if this uh, reading, these cards uh, resonate more with you, obviously, then the first set of cards would be the cross watchers. So just put it where it applies. I just leave it like that, this, because it's easier for me to keep track of. So Taurus cross watchers, um, your Taurus is moving away from somebody um, and moving towards a fire sign or somebody who is very passionate about them. So um, th they are sending you messages, cross watcher, letting you know that they are moving away from their current situation and um, lots of messages going back and forth. Lots and lots of messages this next week is what I'm seeing, especially with the Eight of Wands in your clarifiers. Um, with the Six of Swords, you're waiting for this person to move away from a situation uh, where their home life is not happy anymore. There's uh, like a stress on finances. There's a stress on emotion. The happily ever after is no longer really there. So you're waiting on your Taurus to move away from, could be another earth sign, but you're just waiting for them to allow their intuition to lead them and guide them out of an unhappy situation. Um, because there, there's just, there's so much emotional exhaustion here. The person that they are dealing with, um, in that they have built a home with, um, there's just a lot of emotional hurt, a lot of emotional draining energy. Like I just feel so, <sighs> Um, but they're having a hard time pulling this justice card. They're having a hard time ending this. They're having a hard time bringing up this divorce um, and allowing these karmic scales to uh, balance out. Even though there's a lot of harsh things being said, a lot of arguing in the home, causing an even more emotionally draining situation, they are going to come forward and tell them they are walking away. And they are walking away from this Ten of Cups in reverse in order to be able to offer somebody else this cup of love. Because the Knight is got his back away from the Ten of Cups. That's why I know, Cross Watcher, that the Taurus is moving away from the home that is draining and moving towards the next card, which is the Justice card in the upright. So, like I said... Divorce papers are being signed. Contracts are coming to an end, whether it be a lease. If you're not married, um, you're just, you know, renting with somebody. This is the, the dissolving of this relationship for Taurus. Um, and they're going to move forward and move quickly and bring in um, truth. This is going to happen very quickly. Um, cutting away from this situation and moving towards you very quickly. The two of you will be coming together um, with truth and love and wanting to start this. Um, this also, however, this divorce may happen quick, but it may not happen easy, Taurus. Um, this person's out, looks like they're out for blood. Um, and it is clarifying the uh, justice card. But this is really just seeking balance, finding that karmic scale to balance out. Karma is not always bad. It comes in in the good form as well. But... Um, for some of you going through the court system, it may um, have you may have a little bit of a battle on your hands, but uh, in the end, it's going to all work out. Um, there's just way too much conflict um, in this relationship to keep it going, Cross Watcher. So um, your your Taurus is. They just have a lot of, uh, they have a lot of people around them as well to choose from, but they're setting that aside. They're going to choose love. They're going to choose, um, who they feel they're meant to be, but they've had a lot of inner conflict around this topic, a lot of inner conflict on, do I make this choice or not? Even though I'm in this situation that is unhappy and not nurturing, I don't, I don't, for some of them, they don't want to deal with the divorce. They're scared to go through this divorce process. They don't want the fight. Um, so they're staying in a, in a relationship that's not serving them. 
But they are going to, at the end of the week, choose love. Um, they're getting over this broken heart of leaving a parent to their children, whether that be the mother or father, um, and getting over the, you know, they've been with this person for a long time. They could have started dating, you know, a long time ago, right out of high school. They could have known each other for, since they were kids. But they are um, healing their broken heart over that situation. Um, during this time of separation, there was no communication. This Taurus could have blocked you um, because they were trying to block out the deep connection the two of you had. They were trying to make it work with this person that they have a home with. but So they could have been blocking you out. But at the end of uh, the shared energy, they know that their new beginning is with their true uh, soulmate. Their new beginning is with their true lover. So they have to make a choice. They will be making that choice and um, hoping for this new beginning here. Uh, they just have to get through a little bit of confusion, cross watchers. They know that they want to, um, you know, create a life with you, but they're just a little confused on how to get out of this situation with the least amount of damage possible. All right, so let's see what our Taurus has for the week in our Romance Angels. One card, please. One card, thank you. All right, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Your bottom of the deck is past life relationship. You have known each other before. So, very soon, decide what it is that you want, Taurus. So, you can manifest this with the universe. Um, you know the person that you are at a distance from. You have romantic feelings for um, because this is a past life soulmate. Um, there is a deep romantic connection between the two of you. Um, this is most definitely a past life. Um, you just have to get through the severing of these contracts and you will be able to uh, explore those romantic feelings that you have with that person that you are at a distance from. Like I said, they may not be somebody that you have been with already, Taurus, but they are somebody you know. You have these romantic feelings for them. For some of you, you have been together in this lifetime, and you you can't deny that bond um, because of that past life relationship between the two of you. So, all right, Taurus, I hope you guys have a beautiful week. Stay strong. Have that courage. Remember, you had the courage card twice in your section. Have the courage to face that fear and do what you feel is best and will bring you balance. And even if it's going to bring a fight on your hands, it's going to be worth it when you are able to um, be with the person you're, um, you're truly wanting to be with. And so you can be happy again. This Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Cups came out twice in both sections. So it came out four times all in reverse. So um, it's time to reevaluate uh, Taurus as you heal from your partner that you had a home with. There is healing here. Just remember that. Um, so have the courage to move forward and, and be where you're meant to be, Taurus. I wish you all healing, love, and light. And I wish, or, and I hope you have a beautiful week. God bless.